Hello, beautiful Emerson children. This is Miss Gara with Primary Math, and we're going to be making numeral cards from 11 to 19. So what you need for this lesson is a blank piece of paper. There's one that came in your math packet. A black marker, colored pencil or crayon, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing you're going to do with your piece of paper is fold it in half long ways. As Miss Beckham says, this is called making a hot dog. It should look like this. Now we're gonna fold it long ways again, and we're gonna call this, as Miss Beckham says, making a hamburger. After you've got the last part folded, you're gonna open it up and it should have a line vertically and horizontally through your paper. Now we're going to cut on the lines to where we're gonna have four separate pieces of paper. You should have four separate pieces of paper. If you need to pause the video, do so now before the next step. All right, let's move on. So we're gonna start out with one piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. This is called the hamburger fold. So if it's long ways, you're gonna fold it in half this way. and then you're gonna set that aside. Next piece of paper, make sure it's standing up long ways. Fold it in half like a hamburger. Set it aside. Fold it in half again like a hamburger. Fold it in half again like a hamburger. Now you should have four pieces folded in half. Now, if you need to pause the video to catch up, now is the time to do so. All right, next step. So we're gonna unfold all the pieces and we're gonna cut on the line. Set aside. Set aside. Set aside. And set aside. Make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. If you need to pause the video to catch up, now is the time to do so. All right, we're ready for the next step. 
Now we're going to take one piece of paper at a time and fold it down again, just like a hamburger fold. Fold it in half, set it aside. 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 Now, we're only going to fold in half five pieces of the paper. So you should have five pieces of paper folded in half. The extras can go in a Ziploc baggie to use at a different time. If you ever miss any pieces from your hundreds board in the later lessons, or you need to make another number for any kind of numeral card, this can be your scrap paper to make it just like we do in the classroom. So make sure you have five folded pieces. If you need to catch up, now's the time to pause the video. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Just like before, you're going to open the fold and cut on the line. Set it aside. Set it aside. Set it aside. Set it aside. And set it aside. Okay, if you need to catch up, please pause the video. This is the time to do so. All right, let's count our pieces. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. And this last one is going to be put aside just in case you make a mistake on the nine cards that we already have. So I'm going to set this with my extra paper. Now's the time to pause the video if you need to catch up. Okay, so I'm going to put the computer down a little bit more and we're gonna write our team's numbers on these cards. These cards will be needed for the next video in the sequence. We're gonna write 11 on this first card, 11. Eleven. We're going to write twelve on this next card. Twelve. We're going to write thirteen on this next card. Thirteen. We're going to write fourteen on this next card. Fourteen. Now fifteen.
16. Seventeen. Eighteen. And nineteen. Now I'm going to put mine in numerical order to check to make sure I have all of them. Numerical order means starting with the lowest number and putting it in sequence to the biggest number. So the lowest number is 11. So now I'm going to check my work. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Thank you for joining me today on Making Our Teen Numerals. See you next time.